Sri Raju Chandrasekhar. So as we all know, the financial markets and the financial sectors of our country are today valued at tens of thousands of crores and have grown systematically and solidly over the last two decades since liberalization. But more than its size, the markets have grown in terms of its transparency, governance and regulation, making our markets one of the best regulated markets in this part of the world. So as we enter into this debate, we must not forget what made this possible. It was the independent regulation of these financial markets, the independence and capability demonstrated by RBI and SEBI over these years, and the independence and capability of the men like Dr. Reddy and Mr. Damodaran in the RBI and SEBI. And as we all know, and as some of my colleagues have already mentioned, India escaped most of the trauma of the recent global economic reset because our economic regulators had managed our financial markets well and sensibly, resisting populist and fashionable trends and bureaucratic pressures that were constantly proposed in the guise of reforms. It is precisely this orderly transformation of our markets into a transparent and well-regulated market that we are today throwing into question with this backdoor intrusion of the political and bureaucratic executive into the realm of independent regulation. Sir, I have spoken in this house many times on independent regulation and as a proponent of strengthening independent regulation, I can say this with all the power at my command, that this bill sets a very bad precedent. The problem is that the bill is attempting, the problem that the bill is attempting to solve is neither a unique problem nor is it new. As a, as a matter of fact, as more and more independent regulators are introduced into our scheme of governance, the problems and therefore the challenges of regulatory overlap and regulatory disputes will arise. We must realize that. So if a sectoral regulator like IRDA or TRAI the telecom regulator attempts to regulate a sectoral entity and a functional regulator like the markets regulator SEBI or a competition regulator CCI attempts to regulate the function qua the markets or the competition, there will be potentially regulatory conflict. However, the solution cannot be and must not be the type suggested by this bill. Regulatory disputes and regulatory adjudication cannot compromise the com concept of independent regulation of the sector or the function as this bill very obviously ends up doing. So let's acknowledge this openly. This bill brings in bureaucratic and political oversight into the critical and sensitive area of regulatory dispute adjudication, which is undesirable and retrograde. So let me give you an example of what will happen in the future if this precedent is followed. The TRI is the telecom regulator. It is also tasked with, the manage, with managing competition in telecom. If it regulates competition, and at the same time, the Competition Com Commission intervenes in the telecom sector to manage competition, there is potentially going to be conflict between these two regulators. So is it the case of the government that the dispute arising between the TRA and the CCI will be adjudicated by the Department of Telecom or the Minister of Telecom? It is clearly not in keeping with the government's view of strengthening independent regulation. It is similar in the case of ULIPS. As my colleague, Mr. Piyush Goyal, has said, you should be regulated on issues of insurance by the IRDA, and when it comes to markets and investment, it cannot but be regulated by the markets regulator. If there is a dispute arising, real or imaginary, this kind of dispute must be still settled through an appropriate independent body with no bureaucratic interference and involvement. If the government is for some reason averse to courts resolving this dispute, then the solution should be, as you suggested, an independent appellate body or whatever type of form but without any compromise on the word independence. Bringing bureaucracy into the sensitive area of financial sector regulation is contrary to the government's own stated objective of strengthening independent regulation in this country. I request, with all the requests at my command, the finance minister to relook at this bill again. The creeping influence of the government is bad news for the future of independent regulation in this country. I'm sure he does not want this to be part of his legacy. And I hope sincerely that he looks at creating an independent regulatory disputes appellate commission or some such idea that could replace the current structure proposal. Thank you. Thank you, Sri Chandrasekhar, for sticking on to the title.